It was late at night in the dystopian city, and all of those who inhabit the city just went through a major impact that nearly affected everyone. A giant shark monster who goes by Sharkosaurus had recently escaped his prison from the dam and attacked the ceremony honoring the town's two greatest heroes, Ryan Ampersand and Delacia Tuon. Some anthropomorphs were injured, but none suffered any fatalities. They got out safe with the crowd. But one in particular not only managed to escape, but fled the scene of the chaos. A one young anthropomorph by the name of Dexter Tuon. The younger brother of Delacia Tuon. After the chaos started, he ran all the way home so that he wouldn't be a part of the disaster. Once the chaos had ended, everyone went back to their homes. And one raccoon in particular had to pay the young morph a visit to check up on him. The young anthropomorph was in his bedroom, sitting on his bed, on his tablet, looking at the news about the mayhem that occurred at the anthropomorph ceremony. He seemed very uneasy. Then, he hears a light knock on his door. Dex turns around to see none other than Ryan Ampersand himself. Hey, buddy. Says the raccoon. Dex turns back around after seeing him. What are you doing here? He asks not confidently. I just wanted to check on you to make sure you're okay. I didn't see you after that whole ordeal at the ceremony. Yeah, I um, kind of ran away after all of that. He answers back. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty normal response. Where's Delacia? He asked. Um, she went to the hospital. You know, to check on the professor. Yeah, I saw what happened on the news. I guess it's like my sister to check on the one she saved. Ryan walks closer to Dex and stands by him. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine, he said sternly. Ryan takes a seat next to him on the bed. Come on, Dex. I know when you aren't being truthful. Dex takes a deep breath and sighs. <sighs> okay, maybe I was a little, you know, shaken up about the whole thing. A little? It's just that I know the city has experienced shark attacks before, but this is the first time I experienced it first time. I, I was so terrified. Dex starts tearing up a bit from the overwhelming situation. <laughs> Ryan puts a hand over his shoulder. Hey, hey, it's okay. You're okay now. I thought I was gonna die. And after seeing what that, that monster was doing to my sister, I thought she was gonna die too. I don't know how I could live with myself if my sister was dead. Your sister survived because she's a fighter. She'd never let anything stop her from protecting this city and the anthropomorphs. And I won't let anything stop me from protecting her. Dex calmed down a bit after hearing Ryan's words. And then he had another realization. That guy. The one who spoke to my sister. Mike. He was in on the chaos, wasn't he? I knew about the monster escaping, but he called it a rumor, saying he was conducting a session with Locke. I'm afraid he was in on it. He's the reason Sharko escaped, and why he attacked the ceremony. He stated. God, I should have known that guy was full of crap. Will you and my sister catch him? He asked worriedly. We'll do our best to try and catch them both, and bring them to justice. I promise you that. Thanks, Ryan. I know I can count on you and Delacia. You're like the big brother I never had. Aw, oh, thanks, champ. Then Ryan gives him a noogie on his head. <laughs> Dex knows that whatever happens in Dystopia, Ryan and his sister Dal will always be there watching out for everyone. And suddenly... Dex didn't seem so worried anymore. The End <laughs>